What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here and welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before or welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back to my channel if you've been here before but anyway yes I am still sitting in front of my Christmas tree uh hopefully it is down by this weekend so that the next video I record for you guys I will not be sitting up here we usually don't you leave our Christmas tree up this late into January but we've decided to leave it up a little bit later than usual but anyway, I'm back with my first ever book review. Usually I do manga reviews on this channel or webtoon reviews, but I decided for this year, since I do plan to read a lot more regular like fiction novels or nonfiction, however you want to put it, I would be doing a lot more of those reviews. And I have the first one for, my, for this year, and it is a book that I talked about in my previous video that I was starting, and that is the BTS book. This is a nonfiction book. It's more of a memoir style type of a book. And I picked this up way back in July when it first released, but I haven't had a chance to really read it the entire way through. I had already previously had started this book and I was on page 200, oh sorry, no, page 129. But then I decided to pick it back up on my Kindle because I did also download a digital copy as well. Originally I started out reading all the physical copies that I have. I have three of them, but I started reading just one of them so that I could annotate it. But then I decided to change my mind so I decided to just purely read it on my Kindle and so I finally finished it and if you're wondering what this book is about it's basically about the 10-year record of BTS from their time during pre-debut to their debut days which was June 13th 2013 up to I believe it it has it specified I think the date where the book kind of leaves us off is like midway through 2022 so specifically after the grammys in april of 2022 is where the book pretty much leaves us off and ends us off with right so i will start off with some of the cons that people had about this book because i just feel like it's right because i have very few cons about this book and i have a little bit of a refuting about how people kind of felt about this book and then i'll go into like what i myself loved about this book and do i recommend people to read this book pretty much so one of the cons that people had about this book was some of the like misspellings that are in there some grammar issues which caused people to feel like this book was very rushed and for me on a personal level i did not feel like that was a turn off for me yes i did spot some grammatical errors some spelling errors as well as like in one of the earlier parts of the book it has where a part where it says Jim and I believe they meant either Jin or Jimin one of the uh, members of BTS instead but they just had you know misspelled it which I didn't have an issue with again because since I do read fan fiction there's a lot of times where fanfic authors will have grammar issues or misspellings and that doesn't deter me from reading it the only time it's an issue for me is if it just really hinders me from reading the book but I can like insert a word in my head or understand what they were actually trying to spell but that's just me that's just how I felt about it and then another con that some people had was like who is this book actually written for and that's probably the biggest one that I saw for a lot of people because there are some parts within this book that are rehashes or retellings of a story that many people People who are a part of the BTS fandom already really knew about like some of the shortcomings they had during their pre-debut days as well as some of the um, the bullying that went on online towards BTS themselves when they were starting to rise that was happening from other fandoms towards them like those are things that a lot of armies already knew about and I am a part of the BTS fandom so these are things that I had heard of before numerous YouTube videos have been made about this numerous people have talked about it articles etc etc so for a lot of people they were like if you're already an army and reading this book it's gonna be a, re a retelling of it a little bit and you may feel a little bit not bored but just a little bit like I already know this so why am I continuing to read this so a lot of people were like okay well I feel like this book is more so for people who are new to BTS or people who just like you know started to get into them or anything else like that and I feel differently now granted for me I am kind of new to the BTS fandom I didn't become a full-fledged like BTS fan or standing BTS until midway through 2021 after Butter had premiered but before Mission to Dance but I had heard about BTS way back in like 2016 when Blood Sweat and Tears were first released I remember watching that music video but I didn't like get into BTS at that point in time but I did have a lot of songs a lot of their songs on my iTunes and I would listen to them and I enjoyed their music greatly right 
But even for me reading through this book, even for me as someone who watched all those YouTube videos to know more about BTS's story when I was first getting to like really know their names and really getting to know who they were and everything else like that, what they stood for, this was still a great book for me to get it from their specific point of view and not so much like a fan point of view and really get into their thoughts and their feelings about everything especially things regarding their pre-debut days about like when they first moved into the dorms together how it was living together like i didn't know that like um rm had put together playlists for all the vocalists to listen to so that they could learn different genres of music those were things i didn't know about the funny moments of how sugar was just eating to survive and would blend up chicken breast juice into a blender and then just drink it and then jen was just disgusted by it those were little things that i would have never known if it wasn't for me reading this book and specifically getting into the latter half of the book especially when it went into things that are much more recent it was much more interesting for me to know a lot about those things as well now as far as the pros about this book that i really really enjoyed that i really really liked this is where i feel like having a digital version of this book is probably going to be more beneficial than having just a physical copy and i say this because at the end of each chapter there are links to youtube videos of interviews bangtan bombs which are like um behind the scenes videos performances videos of a lot of things that are mentioned in that specific chapter so that you can actually click on it and then watch it and then understand like what was happening and things like that and i think for me that was great even though a lot of these videos i had already seen i did like that they did include that in the book including qr codes to the albums for people to listen to as well another thing that i really enjoyed about this book is because they did have intertwined interviews with the members and i know one thing other thing that some people had talked about was that they felt like the book was like disconjointed because it would have the narration from the person that was like writing or narrating the book but then interject sometimes with the members own interviews and how they felt during that time but sometimes it was like a weird time skip sometimes that didn't correlate but for me i didn't feel like this was an issue but i just felt like it was perfectly fine to me at least but i did enjoy those interviews with the members and a lot of times one thing i will say that i do agree with that a lot of people felt like was a little bit of a con is that i wish there was more of that um and less of the narration sometimes like i did like hearing more from the members and their thoughts for me, the best part of this book was getting into the part when it talks about when the world shut down. And we all know what happened for the world to shut down for about two years. But getting into their thought process during that time, to me, was the best part. Because there was so many misinformation online regarding during that time regarding BTS. And I say that because that was when they released their single, Dynamite. And a lot of people had this total misinformation especially people who were not a part of the fandom saying that they did it for a cash grab they did it to get on billboard when that was not the case and they mention it in this book as specifically why they chose to do it and i'll you know let you guys read the book for yourself so that you guys can know specifically why they did it but when i talk about the success the success of it they say it just felt surreal because they were so used to songs that they perform in front of people and specifically song a song like dynamite that because it was performance heavy it felt weird that they were recording these performances instead of performing them in front of fans and um that is the part that i enjoyed reading the most especially getting into where they did their permission to dance concert which i did actually end up attending and going to and how they felt when they finally got a chance to to do that going about going to the grammys for the second time and then losing again and their thought process regarding them losing and talking about how the awards at this point don't matter and for them it's the longevity of bts and staying together as a group that means the most to them and showing the love for their fans i love them getting to the depth of the songs that they made and the real connections that um, like the real meanings behind them like that's that's what i really enjoyed and that's what i liked about this book and honestly when i got towards the end of it in the last few pages i walked with the I walked away with the feeling of i want to specifically like I, yes the charts matter yes streaming their music matters yes you know um showing their appreciation that we have for them by uh, 
continuing to buy their music and stuff like that but i also just want to wholeheartedly enjoy and love this group entirely for who they are and show them that sort of love and get to know more of their story beyond just like streaming their music but that's just me that's just how i took away from this book walking away from it and for all those also who continue to talk about the like narration and some of the disconjointedness i feel like because it is also translated from korean that also could be why there's a little bit more of an issue with some of the things that are going on in, within this book but i do who i recommend people reading this book i do whether you're an old army or a new army i feel like you should be able to read this book and to be completely honest i feel like the main people who should read this book are the ones that aren't ever going to read it my husband put it that way also that the main people that should read this book about bts are the ones that are continuing to hate on bts because they need to know more about their story and understand the type of people that they are because yes there are armies online that can be extremely toxic and will bring up just all of bts's you know achievements which their achievements are great and their achievements are wonderful but i think what a lot of armies who aren't toxic want people to know is the type of people that bts are and how in reality they don't do anything to anybody else they just strictly strictly are out there just making music and showing the love they have for their fans for their army and just you know wanting to continue to be a part of bts for a very long time specifically i want people who are what are called solo stands and are stands of only one member those are also the main ones i feel like need to read this book because they also need to have an understanding of the brotherhood that all of these members have with each other as well if you hear a noise in the background my cat decided of all times to start playing with his toy <laughs> which aptly enough his name is sugar and he's named after one of the members of bts <laughs> so yeah if you hear him he decided he was sleeping before but as soon as i turned on this camera he's like i'm gonna get him play with my toy but anyway that is how I feel about this book. So yes, pick it up, check it out, whether it's an ebook, the physical copy, or the audiobook. I honestly feel like this is a book that I am going to probably reread and listen to multiple times. I also do have the audiobook of this as well. So I do plan to continually to read and listen to this book, like I said, a lot because I walked just how I walked away feeling about it was just like a whole new sense of pride for BTS and a whole new sense of love and wonder for myself that i'm so glad that i found them when i did and i'm so glad that i am part of the bts army that's that's how i walked away feeling about it so yeah do i recommend this book yes the way that i rate this book out of five stars that's gonna be the rating i'm gonna do for now all the like standard regular books that i plan to review i give this book five stars and i know some people probably want to agree with me and be like it wasn't a five star read for me this was a five star read because of how i walked away from it at the end of this book i walked away feeling a greater appreciation for bts at the end of it do i recommend people read this book yes i think everyone needs to read this book to have a greater appreciation for bts i do hope that at some point later on they do release another book as well and i hope that book is regarding uh their chapter two and regarding everything else like that they do mention some of their solo works in here i know that uh d-day i believe is mentioned in here so is jack in the box as well the astronaut is also mentioned in here as well they do not go into detail regarding their solo works they're just kind of mentioned and thrown in there because they kind of add to the story and they talk about like specifically they mentioned the astronaut because they talk about coldplay and coldplay worked with jen on his song the astronaut that's what i mean by how they kind of worked it in there as well so yes I feel like people should read this because it's everything BTS says in their own words and aren't things taken from fans who try to add context for something that maybe they don't have the full context to. So that's how I feel about it. But yeah, five star read. Check it out. Read it. You can buy this book probably online at like Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart. I am not sponsored by any of them. You can buy it there. If you want a digital version, you can buy it on Kindle. You can also buy it on iBooks as well, which I recommend because of the YouTube embedded videos that are in there. So yeah, that's what I have to say about this book i hope you guys enjoy this video i will have i will have another video out for you guys soon i don't know what it's going to be about i'm just recording things as i go along but currently i am still watching attack on titan i am still reading more fan fiction and i am still watching uh true beauty as well as well as uh still reading uh a webtoon that for some reason 
at this age matters i'm reading the webtoon age matters at this time as well so yeah i'll see you guys soon with a brand new video um if you like down below i have links to all my social media accounts so please check them out if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe as well and i will see you guys soon with a brand new video like i always tell you guys stay positive stay nerdy and today's day day stay healthy and of course please stay safe and hopefully next time you see me this tree will not be in the background and i will be back over there in that lovely corner with my manga <laughs> but we'll see <laughs> if i am still behind this tree or in front of this tree in the next video don't worry about it it's gonna come down it's fake anyway so it's not like it's gonna turn brown but anyway <laughs> bye <laughs>